using rules in Desk is a brilliant way to start automating the organisation of your cases. We have lots of different rule types that all work during different stages of the case's life. Using a time rule is a little bit different to all of them, as it runs based on time rather than actions. In this example, we're going to make a time rule that's going to escalate the case's priority based on time. Now, we're going to make one that, after 24 hours, emails all of your agents and increases the priority to 10. So to do this, we go into Cases, Rules, Time Rule, and Add Rule. I'm going to call this 24-hour warning. Don't have to use capital letters. The first condition that I'll add is an all condition. And we want to look out for hours since interaction received. And I'll change that to greater than or equal to 24. The next all condition we need to look for is the case status. We want to have that as less than resolved. Now that means that this will work on any case that isn't resolved, closed or deleted. And finally, we need to add case labels. Change this to does not contain. And we don't want it to contain the label 24 hour warning. We use this label to check whether the rule's been run on this case before. If it has, obviously, we don't want it to keep running because uh, you'd cause some quite a few problems. Um, we call them infinite loops. You can actually read more about an infinite loop in this article where the, this video is attached or by going to support.desk.com and searching for infinite loops. Next, we go to rule actions. We're going to add a rule action. And because we've added case labels previously, we want to append the case label 24 hour warning, which means that the next time this rule tries to run, it won't be able to because it already contains this label, which is perfect for avoiding infinite loops, like I mentioned earlier. The next action we need to do is set the case priority. In this case, we're going to set it to 10 because they've been waiting for 24 hours now. And then the next action we're going to add is send notification email. I already pre-made one called email all. And that's just something that you can make yourself by going into notifications. This simply just emails all of my agents and admins within the account to let them know that there's a critical case that needs responding to. Finally, we can leave run rule at any time, but we do want to enable that. I'll just click update. And now we can see that the time rule has been added. And it's only going to run on cases after 24 hours that aren't resolved, closed or deleted. And that don't contain the label 24 hour warning. And then when it finds those cases, it will apply the label 24 hour warning, set the case priority to 10 and then send a notification email to all of my agents.